Because see if you can find the glaring flaw in his argument. Early on Fox News yesterday, I believe he had as his guest, was this on his show or Megyn Kelly's show? He had Megyn Kelly on the O'Reilly Factor. And I heard this today and I really couldn't believe it. Mm. It sounded like Barack Obama with his clinging to their guns and religion line. Cut eight, go. For example, I had an interview with, with Tony Perkins of the Family Research Council. What is it about calling marriage, calling a gay union marriage that offends you? How does it hurt a traditional or a right. heterosexual marriage? Let, let's stop right there a second. Now, Megan, you know better than this. <laughs> and I think you're great. Are you aware, Megan, that every major religion on the face of the earth, Judaism, Christianity, although there are off, offshoots, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, they all reject same-sex marriage. Are you aware of that? What do you mean, what tradition does it hurt? I mean, the question is, what tradition doesn't it affect? Whatever your opinion is of it, per se, go ahead. I didn't hear anything articulated that was particularly persuasive. What people go back to... And I to... agree with you 100%. Right. 100%. And I hate to say this to Kelly. And next week I, I, I got <laughs> something to Kelly that she's not going to like. Oh. I agree with you 100%. Wow, okay. The compelling argument is on the side of homosexuals. Mm -hmm. That's where the compelling argument is. We're Americans. We just want to be treated like everybody else. That's a compelling argument. And to deny that, you've got to have a very strong argument on the other side. And the, and the, the other, other side, side hasn't been able to do anything but thump the Bible. Thump the Bible? Have I thumped the Bible once in an hour and a half on the air today? Have I thumped the Bible once? Dude, you just did. No, 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 no. There's... How do, you, how do you not see that mistake? How do you not see that contradiction? Okay, he just said, well, you did, are you aware every single uh, faith and religion rejects same-sex marriage? The Bible, you know, Judaism, Islam, Hindu, Buddhism, right? And then when he plays the clip of Bill O'Reilly saying, yeah, you know, the Bible thumpers are against gay marriage, yeah. He's like, who thumps the Bible, bro? Who's thumping the Bible? Do I, did I thump the Bible? You just did 30 seconds ago. Oh my God, he's so painfully stupid, man. Oh, he's so stupid. But then look, can I tell you why I love this clip though? Other than the fact that he exposes himself as beyond moronic that they need to invent a new word. Uh, this shows you, the writing's on the wall, man. I mean, it's over. I don't know whether it's gonna be completely over you know, this year, or whether it's going to be five years or ten years, or whatever it's going to be. But the writing is on the wall. The, the people in favor of equality have won this debate. We, we're winning on the social issues. We are winning on the social issues. Now, why do I say that? Because look at, look at uh, his argument. Now, it's not even really an argument. He just plays the clip of O'Reilly and says, oh, God, can you believe that? Unbelievable. It's essential, it's more of Mark Levin saying, please stop hitting me. And he goes on to say, by the way, in the rest of the clip, and you can find it on Mediaite if you want. He goes on to say, oh, he said what Limbaugh said, you're marginalizing, marginalizing the listeners on Fox News. Yeah, but again, that's not an argument. I mean, that's like saying back when we were fighting for interracial marriage, oh, you're marginalizing people who still want to ban interracial marriage. Yeah, but wait a second. They are the ones who are really marginalizing and discriminating because they don't want people to get married of, of different races. So if you're marginalizing the marginalizers, yeah, that makes all the sense in the world. You should marginalize those people. Essentially what Levin is saying is stop hitting me, stop hitting me, stop hitting me, it hurts, stop, stop, stop. So instead of actually making an, a, a, a persuasive sounding argument in favor of gay marriage, he's more just saying, oh, can you believe this? Yeah, Mark, I can believe that. The tides of history are moving. And your ass is going to be stuck on the side, which is going to be laughed at mockingly.